Hello and welcome to our 50th unboxing video, which is super exciting. We haven't really done anything special except Amber's hair looks extra nice. <laughs> My hair just looks a little normal, but... Uh, and yay, we have a ton of adult books, which is actually pretty special because it's a really yeah. big box and I know a lot of people are going to be excited about these and some audiobooks too. Oh. And I'm Eliza. Amber. Dope sick. Dealers, doctors, and the drug company that addicted America. Ooh, this looks like a scandalous tell-all opioid crisis. Oh, that is a really big deal. Yeah. This one is about called The Desert and the Sea, and it's about a guy who spent 977 days uh, captive by pirates on the Somali coast. And I actually listened to an interview with him, and it was just an incredibly fascinating story. Fascinating enough, I guess they made a book. Um, if you leave me, I really like this cover. I don't know what this is about, but um, it almost doesn't matter. It's by Crystal Hannah Kim, and it's emotional. It's about war, family, forbidden love uh, in Korea. Oh, that might be a good follow-up for all of the people who loved Pachinko, uh, including me. A lot of us really loved the novel Pachinko. Okay, I'm I'm super excited about this one. I am eager for this one. It is a p popular science book about the surprising secret life of beavers and why they matter. And I have become very interested in oh, beavers because eager I live beaver. Very eager funny. beaver because I live right near a beaver dam. And I was never really interested in before, but now they I don't know they're just busy all the time up to things, and I kind of want to know what's going on. Uh, the Late Bloomers Club by Louise Miller. Um, yep. I think it's probably about what it sounds like. Yeah. Just like a kind of a cozy, maybe romance, life choices, things happening. Small town. I like the bicycle on the cover. Hope. Never dies. And this is that is, Obama? It is. It's a novel about Barack Obama and Joe Biden solving crimes. It says part action thriller, part mystery, part bromance, and just to be clear, a hundred percent fiction. Though I imagine they must have gotten permission. I'm kind of curious about how that works. That's really funny. <laughs> like, can you just? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Presumably, it's all I kind of want to read it board. just to see. If yeah. it's any good. Uh, you are not alone. A lot of people want to read this. It's, it's, it's that maybe sounds a little silly, but it's actually gotten really good reviews. Whiskey When We're Dry by John Larison. Uh, spring of 1885, a 17-year-old girl finds herself orphaned and alone on her family's homestead. Um, and then everything that follows. As you they, can they've got a really good like com comparison on the back. It says, Arya Stark meets True Grit. Sounds intense, but like intriguing. Oh, here's a little one. Meet Me at the Museum, a novel by Anne Youngson. Um, do, do, do. Oh, Denmark has uh, the, a professor has lost his wife, and then on an isolated English farm, Tina Hopgood is trapped in a life she doesn't remember choosing, and both of them think that their love stories are over. But maybe not. Uh, your second life begins when you realize you only have one. Talking about lives. Um, is this a novel? or It's a, a, it's a French oh, novel a about French a woman's novel. quest to cure her routinitis. Um, Fiona Davis, who wrote The Dollhouse and The Address. This is called The Masterpiece. All of those books have been popular. And um, I think it's historical fiction it's about historical. Uh, art... 1928. I feel like there are a lot of novels coming out like in the 20s mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. You get if it's in the 20s, you always have good cover because you can yeah. you can do the nice 20s dresses. <laughs> uh, James Patterson's Texas Ranger. Lisa Scottline, feared. The pace is relentless. So we have to have the thrillers in here too. It can't just all be like. New. No, no, no. People want to be thrilled. Right. Um, when We Found Home by Susan Mallory. I feel like this is the kind of book that she does. Girls on the cover, water. Yeah. 
what we were promised and this is uh, after years of chasing the American dream the Zen family has moved back to China hmm. I like family sagas how to keep a secret by Sarah Morgan uh, Martha's Vineyard life changes heartwarming Looks like a beach read is like a little bit late. Somebody's got to grab it really late. fast and run to the beach before yeah. we run out of beach time. <laughs> Desolation Mountain. Speaking of beach time. Speaking of beach time. I have to say that I really love the cover on this one. And I think it's by William Kent Kruger. And I think it's actually part of maybe a series. Um, and it's a mystery now. That's such a good cover. Anything with the name Desolation in it just makes yeah. me think like... <gasps> Good title, too. Yeah. Good Luck With That by Kristen Higgins. Um, a more heartfelt novel. Humor. Wisdom. Best friends. I'm getting like all the... All of that kind the of... Happy what do you ones. call it? Like chiclet, I guess? I'm getting the, the dark, intense yeah. ones. Catherine Coulter. Paradox. See? There she is on the back. Looking... Looking comfortable. Yeah. She writes a novel like yeah, yeah. Recently. And this is like a, uh, I think more of like a thriller procedural thing. I have, yeah. She has a lot of fans. West like lightning. This is a nonfiction. The brief legendary ride of the Pony Express. So, oh. So it's got like oh I don't know if you can see it. It's got like some maps. Pony Express uh, on the eve of the Civil War. So historical nonfiction. Yeah, the Pony Express is really interesting because they set up they set up the whole thing, right? It was super complicated, and then it was it only went for like two years because they invented the telegraph. See, I didn't know that. She just told me probably what the book would have told me. <laughs> yeah, but that's like the beginning. You can learn all the details in the right. book. Details. This is called Sweet Little Lies. I bet they're not actually that sweet. I'm just guessing. Um, Ooh, a mystery. Oh, yeah. Look, she's a detective in the Metropolitan police force is this take place in ireland in london oh in london and um then she sounds like she's going to solve a cold case hmm. a double life by flynn berry it's a gripping intense stunningly written novel of psychological suspense Ooh, about a grown doctor who something has to solve a, another old mystery. It's another thriller, thriller mystery. Indianapolis, the true story of the worst sea disaster in U.S. naval history and the 50-year fight to exonerate an innocent man? I don't know anything about this. Nor do I. Nothing. Huh. Hmm. So it's nonfiction. Nonfiction. About something bad that happened. Um, the Bouncer by David Gordon. It's a thriller, uh, like a government thriller. Yeah, like Quantico, CIA, FBI. I'm getting a lot of them. It's almost what I always think of as like reading season. A ton of books come yes. out in September and October. I think people want them to be published before Christmas. And so, yeah, yeah it's, it's coming. <laughs> Whistle in the Dark by Emma Healy. Oh, who wrote Elizabeth is Missing, which I, I really loved Elizabeth. Elizabeth is Missing. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a hard sell because it's actually about a woman who's sort of going senile and is told from her point of view. So a lot of this stuff is sort of confusing and also a little sad. But I just found it such a powerful story. I really loved it a lot. So um, I don't really care what this is about because I'll definitely read it since I love the first one. Um, but it actually sounds like a story I maybe wouldn't normally read because it's about a family where the... 15 year old daughter goes missing for four days and then when she's found she's like really traumatized and won't talk about what happened uh well you can tell me what that's about i won't be reading it um, sandra brown writes tailspin she's another popular uh, author the other woman he Loves Me, He Loves Me Not by Sadie Jones, which is sort of interesting because we just barely had another book called The Other Woman yeah. by Daniel Silva. So this is not the same book, not the same author. Um, 
And this sounds kind of like a Gone Girl style thriller of like mm-hmm. maybe mystery, unreliable narrator. I'm just guessing from the. Uh, and this one we have a twofer. Woo-hoo! Oh, baby, baby teeth. Sweetness can be deceptive. I don't. I don't. I don't really want to read this one, but it's it's gotten really popular, and I think it's about a mother who. It's, um, it's psychological. So I probably don't want to. Oh, feels like her baby hates her and is. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know, but it sounds like it sounds kind of scary to me. Yeah, maybe not good if you're like a relatively have relatively young kid. It says it raises more questions than it answers. So not my kind of book, but maybe yours. Definitely a page turn. <laughs> Wait, look, we have another match. Stuart Woods, the money shot. And there he is on the back. Uh, let's see. An Unwanted Guest by Cherie La- Lapina. A uh, weekend retreat at a cozy mountain lodge is supposed to be the perfect getaway, but when the storm hits, no one is getting away. Huh. Hmm. Sounds like another... I bet there's something else going on besides just a storm, like a killer or something. Look how dark that cover is. Oh, yeah. Karen Slaughter, Pieces of Her. Um, And, yeah, she's just another super popular thriller mystery author. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom Clancy, Line of Sight. Tom Clancy no longer with us, but still writing books. Actually, Mike Madden. Mike Madden, but they have yeah. Tom Clancy's name. He, it's even bigger than the title, so you know yeah. it's in that style. And the last one, J.P. Delaney, uh, Believe Me, another like thriller mystery. So here's what I think. The people who really are into thrillers, they read them in like a couple of days, yeah. so they need a lot. We need a lot of thrillers. Yeah. Right? Oh, and this one is about a woman who's a struggling actor who has to pretend to be someone else to try to catch a killer. Hmm. So that's it. We're done. Empty boxes all around. All over. No, just kidding. We'll be back for the next one. Bye. Bye.